Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, let's wait one minute. Okay. Okay, good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. How are you? Good? I'm a fine teacher. Excellent. Good evening, teacher. Very good. Okay, question. Where are you in the platform? Send me a uh, message in chat. Okay. Where are you in the platform? Send me a message. Are you for the chat? Send me a message, everybody. Criseida says 5.11, very good. Send me a message. Uh, you put a chat, it finished, okay, very good. Uh, remember, we have the test, the final exam. So, si van por el examen, dígame allí, um, in final exam, section A, section B, okay. Very good. Some people are finished. Excellent. Good job. Okay. Good job. Good job. So, for the people that are finished, just quédense aquí. We're going to practice what you saw more. Okay. Let me see. Okay. So, let's go do a little review. Section five. Eh, tiene varios temas. Do you remember one of the topics that was on there? ¿Qué aprendieron de la sección 5? Diferentes temas. Zona horaria. Aprender zona horaria, países. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Time zones. What else? ¿Qué más aprendieron de la sección 5? The question. Questions. Todas tienen preguntas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. The... Oh. What What do you think? ¿Qué más aprendieron de la sección 5? No se acuerdan. Me acaban de terminar. Ah. ¿Ah? La es... Ya aún voy por la 5.3, teacher. Ajá, ¿y qué, qué aprendió? En la 5.1 se empezó a hablar sobre las zonas horarias. Hay una conversación. Uh -huh. Ok, time. Do you remember what we did? 
the, I don't know if you were here Thursday, that we talked about telling times. For example, can you tell me what time, time. is it right now? Yes, get the time. But, uh -huh, pero remember, hay forma digital cuando tú puedes decir 9.06 p.m. Esa es forma uh -huh. digital. Y la otra forma larga. No se acuerda cuando se dice 10 past 6, 15 past. ¿No remember? Quarter past for one. Ajá, uh -huh, pero dice, tell me, what time is it now? Se le olvidó. 7 past 9. 7 past 9. 9. Very good. Very good, Vanessa. 7 past 9. Okay. Very good. So, let's do a little review. Creo que se le olvidó. Y acaban de terminar la sección. Let's do a review. Uh, I think you can see this game. Okay, let's play this game. You ready? Choose the correct answer. Tell me the time. Four o'clock, three o'clock, 12 o'clock. Three o'clock. Three o'clock. Okay. Choose the correct answer. What time is it? Five o'clock. Five o'clock. Choose the correct answer. Seven o'clock. Choose the correct answer. At this time. What is the answer? Five plus one. Two thirty. One o'clock. Half yeah. past one. Half past one. Half past one. Very good. You are correct. Half past one. Past one. Esta es la forma larga, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. si, no, si no, you can say digital time, 1.30. But you're saying half past one. Choose the correct answer. What time is it? 3.30? 33? 3 o'clock? Three thirty. Three thirty. Three thirty. Choose the correct answer. What about this time? Six thirty. Seven thirty. Thirty seven. Seven thirty. Seven thirty. Seven thirty. Si ven aquí arriba dice half. Past seven is the same. Seven thirty or half past seven. Choose the correct answer. When it's when it's nine fifteen, it's nine o'clock, nine thirty, a quarter past nine. A quarter past nine. A quarter past nine. Que lo mismo que nine fifteen. Choose the correct answer. When it's 5.45, it's 6.15, a quarter to six, a quarter to five. A quarter to a quarter six. six. A quarter to six. Si ustedes ven aquí, 45, a quarter, which is 15 minutes, a quarter para llegar a la otra hora. In this case, six. All right, very good. Congratulations. Let's play another game.
Okay, so I'm going to roll the dice and we're going to ask you a question. Choose the correct answer. Choose the correct answer. Look at the clock. What time is it? It's the six o'clock. It's the six o'clock or it's six o'clock? It's six o'clock. Six o'clock. Very good. Let's see. Let's roll the dice. Oh, nos comió, la, <laughs> nos comió el cocodrilo. All right, so let me go back. We have to get, we have to finish. Ready? Choose nice. the correct answer. Okay, what time is it? It's two o'clock. It's a quarter past two. It's half past two. It's 10 o'clock. Half past two. Half past two. ¿Están de acuerdo? Half yes. past two? Yes. Two. Yes. Good job. Choose the correct answer. Look at the clock. It's three o'clock. It's a quarter past three. It's 10 o'clock. It's 3.30. 3.30. 3.30. Very good, good job. Choose the correct answer. Look at the clock. It's a quarter to two. It's a quarter past two. It's three o'clock. It's 2.30. Three o'clock. Mm. No, 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 no. Quarter, quarter past two. Quarter past mm. two. A quarter past two. ¿Están seguros? Yes, it's a quarter past two. Let me see. Past two. Mm, eso le creo que no. la fechita está al revés. Está mal, sí. Ajá. <laughs> sí, hey. por eso. Hey, lo felicito It's por agarrar. <laughs> tw twelve. Choose the correct answer. Let's see. Let me see the time. Okay, it's six o'clock. It's a quarter past six. It's 5.30. It's a quarter to six. Quarter to six. What do you think? Quarter to six. Quarter to six, ¿verdad? Porque falta 15, a quarter, for the next hour. Six. It's six o'clock. Listen to the time. It's six o'clock. ¿Qué dijo? Right here, right? It's six o'clock. Six o'clock. Good job. I usually brush my teeth at 6.30 a.m. I usually brush, brush my teeth at... ¿Qué dijo? I usually it's brush my teeth at 6.30 a.m. Okay, hold on. Listen first. I usually brush my teeth at 6.30 a.m. 6.30 a.m. 6.30 a.m. Hey, Six. no. Fue Six. mi culpa. Six. It's right here. <laughs> hey, yo le di click a la equivocada. Let's see what happens. Go back. Okay. I usually get up at 6 a.m. I usually get up at... 6 a.m. I usually am. get up at 6 a.m. 6 a.m. I usually go to school at 8 a.m. What did she say? I usually go to school at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. I usually have breakfast at 9 a.m. I usually Night have breakfast at 9 a.m. a.m. Otra forma de decirlo? 9 a.m., pero hay otra forma de decirlo? 
Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. A mí se, se, se entiende más así, ¿verdad? Pero también si alguien te dice nine o'clock, it's correct. Too. Finish. All right, very good. So, are you good with the time? ¿Alguien tiene preguntas sobre el tiempo? Telling time? ¿No? ¿Alguien no, tiene alguna duda? Sí, sí. En, en el caso cuando son horas como militar que ocupan las 13 horas, las 14 horas, ¿cómo sería en ese caso? You say 1400, 1400 hours, 1600 hours. Le pones ese 100 que quiere decir 1000, el 100, ¿verdad? 100 eh, horas. No sé, no a las sé 600. por qué es así. Ajá, exacto. A las 600, a las 700, uh -huh. a las 545. Correct. So in English you say 600 hours. 700 hours, 2,300 hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, así es. All right, very good. Uh, questions here. WH, who, what, when, where? Review. Repaso porque tiene que ver lo, con lo que vamos a hacer después. Uh, look at the question. Blank is your name. Answer, my name is Paul. Which WH can I use? What? 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 What is your name? Very good. My name is Paul. Okay, let's look at this one. How? What? Now, tienen que fijarse en la respuesta. I live. Aquí la, la, la pregunta es blank. Do you live? I live in Cipolletti. Who? Who? Where? 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 What? When? Cuando? Where? 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 Uh -huh. Because the answer, right? Donde el lugar. Lugar. lugar ubicación. Una, una city, right? Como una ciudad. Mm. Okay. Very good. Number three. Blank, oh. are you doing? I'm doing my homework. Why not? Who are? Where? When are, when Who is are. your work? Who is your What? books? No, no, no. Who? Estamos en la tres. Mm. Who? Uh, What are you doing? What are you doing? What you doing? I'm doing my homework. Mm. Yes, that's correct. All right, number four. What is your book? Blank is your book. Where? It's in my school Where? bag. Where? Where? Where is your book? It's in my school bag. Very good. Number five. What? What is this? What is, What is this? It's an apple. Is. Es la única que encaja, ¿verdad? Porque who is this? Y está hablando de una apple, no puede ser who, porque who es para personas. Where is this? It's not talking about a location. When? Time? No. What? What is this? What? It's an apple. Okay. What are you doing? What are you? Blank are you? I am at home. Oh. Where? 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 Where are you? I am at home. Location, right? Very good. Number seven. It's who? When's your who? Who? who is your best who? friend? Who? My best friend is Mike. You're talking about a person, right? Who? Person. person. Mm -hmm. Very good. Bueno, no las vamos a hacer todas, solo un repaso. Okay? Who? Person. What? A thing. Where? Location. When? Time. Okay? So, very important questions. WH questions se usan en todo, todo nivel. Even advanced level. Advanced level, you're asking WH questions. WH questions también se conocen como open questions. Or, ¿hay otro nombre? Information questions. Information questions. Very good. Okay. Um, I have a presentation. Pero antes de eso, simplemente quiero tomar la asistencia. Denme un segundito. What time is it?
Hi, everyone. In this class, you will learn to ask and answer questions using time expressions. Let's get started by looking at some blocks which are expressed in time. Let's listen and it's repeat. Okay. It's 1 o'clock. It's 1 o'clock. It's 1 o'clock. It's 5 after 1. It's 1 15. Okay, very good, Jose. Te estamos escuchando. All right, very good. It's 1.30. No soy yo. No soy, no soy usted. Vamos a ver quién es. No, no soy yo. Okay, perdón. All right, I want to go back. Let me share my screen. I want to go to the presentation that I have for you, okay? ¿Quién vio el tema 5.9? Ya allí, en sección 5. 5.9 es bastante, bastante completo ese tema. WH questions plus present continuous. Okay, section 5.1. So I want to give you a presentation and a practice that we can do. All right. Why do we use this structure, la estructura? What is it? We use WH present continuous questions to get information about actions that are in progress. Okay, let me repeat that. We use WH present continuous questions to get information about actions that are in progress. So, yo veo una acción en progreso, pero yo quiero preguntar más sobre esa acción, obtener más información. Okay? For example, you can also say more information about the action. I want more information about the action. Right? Let's say, for example, yo voy caminando, veo a mi compañera aquí de, de clase, y yo veo que ya está tiene un libro enfrente. ¿Ok? Yo quiero ser curioso y yo le voy a preguntar, What are you reading? ¿Ok? Es decir, yo veo la acción, action, ¿ok? But I want more information. Soy curioso, soy metido. I want more information. ¿Ok? So I'm going to ask her, eh, solo quiero usar otro color, what, WH question first, verb to be, subject, and ING. So, aquí está la estructura. WH, verb to be, el verb be, perdón, un poquito difícil escribir con esto, subject, and a ING. So, here's going to be the verb with ING. Preguntas, ¿por qué usamos estas, estas estructuras, estas preguntas? Okay. ¿Quiénes vieron el video ya? 5.9, did you see the video? Okay, if you saw the video, excellent. Now I want to practice with you. So, another uh, question here, for example, yo entro a la casa, veo a mi amigo en esta posición, él está haciendo algo, right? Obviamente, yo creo, yo veo libros de estudio, entonces, I think he's studying. He is studying. But I want more information. So, I'm going to use WH, verb to be, subject, studying. What are you studying? Right? Entonces, aquí, él se ve obligado a, a dar mi información. I am studying. Uh, math, mathematics. I am studying math. Okay. So now I have more information about that. Okay. So, esta estructura la uso para más información sobre acciones que ya están pasando. Uh, question. I see my friend here, for example, right? Lo veo aquí. Está en esa posición. I say, what are you cooking? Okay. Lógica me dice que él está cocinando. Cooking. Okay. But I want more information. So I ask, what are you cooking? He's going to tell me here, I am cooking. Cooking. A, let's say soup. Fries. I am cooking chicken Fries. soup. Fries. Fries, ah. fries, papas, papas fritas. Mm. Yes, French fries. Uh, French, French, 
fair price. Ok, so si, si yo no hiciera esta pregunta, yo no podría buscar esta información. Ok, so I have to ask them, what are you cooking? I am cooking chicken soup. I am cooking french fries, lo que sea. Ok, so veo, lo veo en esta acción continua, but I want more information. Ok, example. I see my friend, she's having lunch, and I want more information, okay? Primero tengo que buscar el verb, eating, okay? So, what are you eating? She's going to give me more information, right? ¿Qué me va a decir ella? I am. I am, very good. She's going to use the present continuous. Que este ya lo vieron también ustedes, present continuous. I am eating. eating. Salad. Salad. Very good. Okay. Si yo no hiciera esta información, eh, perdón, si yo no hiciera esta pregunta, no pudiera obtener esta información. Okay. So, esta es la lección de 5.9. Let me show you a picture. Okay. And what question would you ask? Le voy a dar el verbo. Buying. This is the verb, buying. So, ¿cómo hiciera la pregunta? ¿Cómo hiciera la pregunta? What are you buying? Buying. Buy. Okay. Very good. So, veo la acción continua. Se ve que está comprando algo. Shopping, the store. Okay. And I say, what are you buying? Okay. Very good. ¿Alguna pregunta aquí? Porque esta es la, prácticamente la base de lo que vamos a hacer. Question? No? Pregunten ahora. Please. No tengan pena. <laughs> eh? Pero después vamos a la, acción, a la actividad y nos estamos perdidos. All right. Very good. Here's the answer. The action that I see is buying. And I want to know what she's buying, so what are you buying? Ahí está, okay? Le voy a dar otras. Give me the question. What is the question? What are... Mm -hmm. Yo quiero buscar más información. I, I know she's watching what? TV, but I want more information. What are you watching? What... Are you watching? Okay. Solo escucho a las mismas personas. Espero que los demás también estén aquí. What are you watching? What are you watching? Okay. Tengo, Voy, uh, ¿ah? tengo una pregunta, pero con otro verbo. Eh, verbo. Yeah, tell me, tell me. Yeah, si claro. tiene que ver aquí con esto, no, no hay problema. Uh -huh. Este, no, con el verbo de hablar. Cuando uso speaking y cuando talking. Ah, ok. Este, eh, eso, eso está fuera de, lo, de, lo, de aquí, pero yo te voy a dar esa respuesta, pero no ahorita, porque después me voy a, me voy a desviar del tema y quiero que todos estén okay. aquí, pero, pero sí te voy Gracias. a dar eso. Ok, very good. Eh, do you see the action? For example, entro a la casa, digamos, está mi novia, mi esposa viendo televisión, but I want to, hey, ¿cuál película es esa? Nunca la he visto. Hey, nunca he visto ese, ese actor. What are you watching? Watching. And she's going to give me more information, right? I am watching, I am watching. A, a new series I mean. on Netflix called, ¿cómo se llama la serie? Eh, eh, Castlevania. No sé si se escribe Castlevania. No sé si se escribe así. Castlevania. Ah, ok. Yo no hubiera obtenido esta información si no pregunto la, pre, eh, la estructura. Hago la pregunta. What are you watching? Ok. Very good. Ok, let's go to the next one. Entro a la casa de, mi, de mis amigos. Los veo jugando. I want more information. What, what are you playing? 
what are they no. explaining? Uh, yes, but remember, I can use you for plural. You puede ser plural, plural también, ¿verdad? Un grupo de personas. Plural, you. Okay. Playing. Ah, what's the question? Repeat. What are you playing? What are they playing? Remember, tengo que tener WH, right? Si no, no es una information question. What are you playing? Okay. Now, recuerden, puedo usar you para un grupo de personas, ya que you es plural también. Okay. What are you playing? Oh, we're playing Monopoly. Oh, we're playing a game called Crosswords. Ah, okay, interesting. All right? Very good. One more. I see my friend. She has a book. What do I say? I want more information. What are you reading? What are you reading? Okay. Vieron como aquí uso you para dirigirme a una persona o puedo usar you para un grupo de personas. Okay, what are you reading? Good. And she's going to give me information. I am reading yeah. a novel. Okay. Very good. I am reading a novel. Okay. Questions? Preguntas de, sobre esta estructura? Um, I see my friend, right? She's there. She has her eyes closed or he has her, his eyes closed. And he's meditating and he likes this music. So... I want more information about the music. What do I say? The verb is listening. What? What? Are. You, what you are saber you... Qué está escuchando. What? What are you listening? What, what are you listening to? Very good. And he's going to give me more information, right? Um, I don't know. I'm listening to pop music. Okay. Give me more information, right? Okay, one more. I see my friend. I see this action. And I want to ask him a question. Lo veo bien pensativo. What are, what are you... Thinking. thinking. What are you thinking? Very good. And he's going to give me more information. He says, I am thinking, aquí está usando present continuous, I am thinking about uh, my homework. <laughs> okay? I'm thinking I about guess my English. Okay. Very good. Preguntas? ¿Cómo llegamos aquí? ¿Por qué uso esta estructura? I want to ask questions about actions that are happening. Yo veo acciones presentes, continuas, and I want more information. Okay? I have more examples of these type of questions that I can ask. For example, what are you wearing to the party? When is your mother coming home? What time is your meeting? Where is your Uber ride? Why are you sad? How are you doing? ¿Qué es la, es la, más, la más famosa? What are you doing? What are you talking of? Uh, who, who are you talking to? Okay. Very good. So let's do a little activity. Do you see the, the, the pictures here? Okay. Esta foto y esta foto. Okay. So yo quiero que hagan una, una práctica aquí en parejas. For example, here, what action do you think? What verb can I use here? What verb? Ya lo vimos, comprando. Buying. buying, right? So that's the buying, verb. Buying. That's the action that I see. The action that I see is buying. Es la acción. So I want to ask more. Y alguien lo dijo allí. What are you buying? Okay? So, eso quiero que hagan. 
So aquí hay varias acciones, gran montón de personas aquí haciendo varias acciones. La clave es buscar la action. Look for the action that's happening. Okay? All right, very good. Questions? Vamos a hacer esto en grupo. Practice? Les voy a mandar este, esta foto en WhatsApp. Okay, let's go to groups. Okay, did you see the picture in WhatsApp? Ya le cayó? Creo que hasta, hasta ahorita. Yes. Okay. Very good. Okay, so, ven varias acciones ahí? Yes. Can you do some questions? For example, what are you reading? Aha, donde esta esa, la persona que tiene el newspaper, right? Yes. He's reading. So you want to ask more information? What are you reading? Very good, very good, Vanessa. Ven otra? Listening to music? Aha, what is the question that you can ask? What are you listening to? Very good. Very good. Sara, are you there? Está ahí. Está, what are you studying? La muchacha que tiene la computadora, imagínate, está estudiando. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh -huh. Puede ser studying. What are you studying? What are you typing? What are you browsing? ¿Entendés what ese, are ese you looking? ¿Ah? La muchacha que tiene la maleta en la mano, como que está viendo algo. Ah, yeah. So, looking. Uh -huh. What are you looking? What are you looking at? Very good. Emma, Sara? Um, al que tiene el, me está leyendo el diario. Uh -huh. So, está leyendo. So, what is the action? Uh, uh. Mm? What is the action? A present continuous action? Uh, reading. reading. ¿Sí? What are you reading? Ahí está. That is awesome. So También I está el muchacho. Uh -huh. Como que está comprando un boleto. Entonces sería, okay. what are you... Está pagando. Está comprando un boleto, ¿verdad? So, uh -huh. what are you buying? What are you uh -huh. buying? Ok. Pues, y, y si es traveling, viajando. Where are you traveling? Where are you traveling? Very good, very good. Ok. Think about action. So look at the picture and then think about the action. Y para decir, por ejemplo, no, no decir qué está haciendo, sino que quién está saludando. Por ejemplo, la muchacha que tiene abrazada a la niña está saludando a alguien. Pero no sé cómo se dice. In English, cuando está saludando a alguien, you can say waving. Waving. Ah, ok. Y el que está hablando por teléfono sería, what are you talking? Eh, y, y si quiero preguntar, ¿quién? ¿Con quién estás hablando?
Okay, questions? Come on. Okay, Mas, what are the who actions are you, you see? Who are you talking? Who are you talking okay. to? Very good. Who are you talking to? Yo veo la acción, yo sé que él está talking, but I need more information. Porque, porque esas preguntas terminan en tú. Eh, es una preposición después de la acción. For example, uh, where are you going to? Who are you speaking to? What are you listening to? Es como una preposición indicando a dónde se está dirigiendo la acción. Ah. Who are you talking to? Don't worry, okay. no hemos entrado. En, de hecho, ni es, es, es preposición, pero se llama infinitives. Infinitives. Uh, yes, yes. Pero ya lo van a ver ustedes más adelante. Okay. So look at the picture. Try to think of more actions. Y si no, pues you can do questions. Just practice doing questions of other actions. Okay. I don't say it's talking. Yo diría que sí. Teacher. Ahí este alguien mencionó sobre el el uso del talking y el speaking. Mm -hmm. Y aquí nosotros estábamos pensando también de que mi imagen está una pareja, ¿verdad? Con una niña y están hablando. Mm -hmm. En ese caso, ¿se, ¿se podría decir talking o speaking? Eh, deja ver la picture. El que, el, 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 el que tiene una, una chaqueta café. No, lo que, el que está a la par como del cieguito con el perro. Esa pareja. Ah, el que tienen el niño. Ajá. Who are you talking to? Who are you speaking to? It's the same. No, the, the, there's no difference. The difference between speak and talk, it, it has to do with formal. For example, look, talk is used for casual speech. It's more for everyday conversation, okay? Also, we use it with to or with. Al final le ponemos un to or with. Who are you speaking to? Who are you speaking with? Okay, but it's, the, it's almost the same. Solamente que we use it for casual situations, como informal situations. Okay, and then the the, the other one is used uh, speak. We normally use it for situations when you want to be more formal, more formal. Okay. Also, we use speak for languages. Do you speak English? No decimos, do you talk English? No, right? Okay. Do you speak English? Okay. okay. Y también acuérdense de cada, cada, cada uno de estos verbos tienen su, su juego de pasado y presente. Talk, talked. Speak, spoke. Mm -hmm. Y también en el caso de speak, tiene eh, eh, past participle. Speak, spoke, spoken. Um, but what do I use it? Basically, I use it for formal talk. I uh, pardon, informal, casual. Si estoy hablando con mi amigo, I use talk. But if I'm speaking more formal, I use speak. Okay. Also, to talk about languages, speak. Do you speak English? Yes, I speak English. Okay. All right. And then ahí se tiene que acordar de que cada uno tiene su juego de, de, de past and present. Okay, continue. Look at, try to think about more, more, more questions there. Okay. Um, quizás los, los niños que están como entre medio de la muchacha con la computadora están jugando en sus. Okay, what are you playing? Aha, uh -huh. what are you playing? Mm -hmm. Very good. More? Uh, for example, um, there's a person buying a ticket. There's a, there's a child looking at an airplane model. There is a person looking at the clock. There is a person in a computer. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, la persona en silla de ruedas, por ejemplo. What okay. are you looking? Mm -hmm. Try to think looking. So, what is the question? ¿Cómo sería la pregunta? What are you looking? What are you looking at? Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. Okay. So, for example, if you, uh huh. Hablando por persona, verdad? What are you calling? Okay. Eh, what or who? Si, si quiero, si estoy hablando de una persona, estoy, quiero preguntar sobre una persona. Which one do who? I use? Who? Who? Okay. Who? who and are then? Who are you calling? Oh, el de. Or what are you watching? I am watching the Facebook. <laughs> Uh, I am watching Facebook, está bien. Este, la otra, ¿cuál otra acción estaríamos? Ok, very good. So, ya regresamos a la reunión. Roberto, primera vez que te escucho. Hasta hoy pude. Hasta ahora. Está bien, solo faltan tres clases. All right. Very good. Veo que José y Roberto estaban practicando. So, Roberto, give me an example. Lo estaban haciendo muy bien. De hecho, lo estaban haciendo en frente de todos porque ya habíamos regresado a la reunión. Continue. <risa> José, did you look at the picture? Ah, sí. ah. ¿Vieron, la, ¿Vieron la foto con las actividades de las personas? Yes, teacher. Give me a question. Uh, let me see. Uh, esta, esta que... Donde está con el periódico. Reading. What? Ajá, uh -huh, reading. What are you reading? What are you reading? Very good. ¿Quién más tiene otras preguntas? Así que hicieron. Eh, based on the pictures. Eh, write them in the chat. Yo, teacher. Put them in the chat. El resto lo puede poner ahí en el chat. Ok. Ok, very good. Regina, what do you have? ¿Viste las fotos? La foto sí, con sí, las So, sí. do you have a question there? Like, can you make a question from there? Um, el resto, el resto de ustedes me pueden mandar un, 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 un message, a chat, aquí en Zoom. Me pueden poner la, la pregunta que hicieron ustedes. Give me one example, each. Okay? Eh, Neri, she says, what are you looking? Very good. Allí decimos, what are you looking at? Okay. ¿Qué más? Example. What are you playing? Very good, right? ¿Vieron los niños ahí? Estaban jugando. Where are you traveling? Correct. ¿Vieron la persona que estaba comprando el ticket? Where are you traveling? Uh, David says, what are you buying? Very good, right? There was a person there buying. Regina, what are the children doing? Very good. I said doing in la más famosa. What are you doing? Uh, Criseida, who are you talking to on the phone? Very good. Who are you speaking to? Who are you speaking to? Very good. Okay. Very good. I have another activity I want to do. Okay. So, ese es el video 5.9. Um, I have another activity that, that we saw here. No sé si se dieron cuenta de otra actividad que estaba en la plataforma. En la, lección, en la sección 5. Vieron rising intonation and falling intonation. Did you see that section? Okay. Speaking about the, the, the intonation. Okay. So, rising and falling intonation. Okay, what is she buying? Very good, Regina. Eh, let me, hold on a second. Okay, rising and falling intonation. 
when you have yes or no questions, intonation goes up. Okay. Rising intonation. Estas se conocen como yes or no questions, right? Okay. And then you have falling intonation. Ya vamos a ver esas. So I want you to put yourself in mute, okay? And I want you to repeat, all right? Quiero que vean como la intonación, el tono, sube. La música del, de, de, de lo que estoy diciendo, the music of the language, goes up. Okay? For example, are you a doctor? You can repeat there where you're at. Repeat. Are you a doctor? Are you a doctor? Okay. Sí. Solo que lo voy a poner en mute para que no haya mucho ruido. Okay? So, Jose, very good job. Solo que te voy a poner en mute. Okay? Are you a doctor? Repeat. Is she your sister? Is she your sister? Voy para arriba, ¿verdad? My intonation. Is he new to our class? Is he new to our class? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Is she mad? Is she bored? Did you finish your homework? Did you finish your homework? Are you studying English? Are you studying English? Okay. Do you like pizza? Do you like pizza? Did you like the movie? Did you like the movie? Did you like the movie? Intonation is up, okay? Now, había otra, eh, otra set de preguntas donde la intonación va para abajo. Do you guys resell it? Do you remember? Falling intonation. So how do I do this one? Usually when I have WH, do you see WH questions, WH questions, todas son WH questions. So my intonation, para abajo, falling intonation, okay? Ya no voy para arriba con la pregunta, sino voy para abajo. Intonation, repeat after me. What is your name? What is your name? Okay? Quiero que noten la, la diferencia. Did you like the movie? Did you like the movie? What is your name? Did you like the movie? What is your name? Do you see the difference? What time is it? What time is it? Where are you from? How old are you? Why do you like English? What time is the class? What time is the class? Why are you sad? What is your favorite color? Where is my cell phone? Where is my cell phone? When is the bus coming? Okay. Voy a hacer la uno the rising intonation y la uno the falling intonation. Are you a doctor? What is your name? Are you a doctor? What is your name? So let's practice, okay? Le voy a mandar esto a WhatsApp. Let's go to groups, okay? And let's practice the, the intonation, okay? Okay, did you see the questions? Did you see the questions? Yes, 
Sí, hola. Estamos aquí. Una pregunta. Hola. Ajá. En la en 10, este, ¿qué significa el did? Did es el pasado de do. Did you like the pizza in the past? ¿Te gustó? Ah, ¿Ya, como... te, ¿Ya te comiste la pizza? Entonces ahora te estoy preguntando, pero la pizza ya te la comiste en, en el pasado. Did you like the uh -huh. pizza? Ok. Practice. Dime la pregunta. Uh -huh. Hazme la pregunta con la entonación. Come on. No tengan pena. Come on. Are you a doctor? Are you a doctor? Nettie, sí. repeat. Are you uh -huh. a doctor? La número uno, rising intonation. Are you a doctor? Are you a doctor? M más para arriba. Are you a doctor? Are you a doctor? Yes. Uh -huh. Better. Okay, Sara, number one. Are you a doctor? Un poquito más para arriba. Are you a doctor? Are you a doctor? Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Now, pueden hacer la una, eh, la una, <laughs> número uno, de falling intonation. Para que noten la diferencia. Rising, falling, rising, falling. Number one, what is your name? What is your what name? What is your name? Uh -huh, what is Nettie? your name? Very good, very good, Vanessa. Very good, Nettie. What is your name? Okay, Sara. What is your name? What uh -huh. is your name? Uh -huh, that's better. Very good. Number two. Is she your sister? Is she, is she your sister? Your sister? Is she your sister? Is she your sister? Uh huh. Very good. Más intonación, verdad? Hacia arriba. Is she your sister? Is she your sister? Okay. Number two for falling intonation. What time is it? What time is what it? What time is it? Very good. Es así, así pueden practicar, ¿verdad? De la 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. Ok, continue. Ok. We have two, three more minutes. Eh, todas la, las de rising intonation y luego falling intonation. Ok, lo que pueden hacer es hacer una de rising con, comparando con la una de falling. La dos de rising con la dos de falling. Sí, lo estamos haciendo. Eso estábamos haciendo. Ok. Ya, ya, lo, ajá, ya lo terminamos. Ok, let me hear. Quiero escuchar. Go. Ok. Comienza ya. Este, are you a doctor? Are you a doctor? What is your name? No, no, espérate. Are you a doctor? Ajá, ahí está, Henry. Are you a are doctor? You a doctor? Are you a doctor? Are you a doctor? Are you a doctor? Is she your sister? Okay, William, go. Number two. Uh, is she your sister? No. Uh -uh. Is she your sister? Is she your sister? Is she your sister? Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Number two. Number uh, three. Is he new to our class? No, uh, number two, compara, number two, is she your sister? Con number two, okay. the falling intonation. What, what time, time is, is it? it? What time is it? What time is it? Voy a usar el método, el método de la la. This is the method. La 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 la? Are you a doctor? La 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 la. Uh -huh. What is your name? De más a menos y de menos a más. <laughs> number, number one, for example, right? Are you a doctor? La 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 la? And number, number one, uh -huh. the falling intonation? La 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 la. What is your name? Mm -hmm. You see the difference? <clears throat> Are you a doctor? Are you a doctor? Teacher, así como en la tres, ¿cómo pronuncio ese to are? To are. Solo que allí se unen las dos palabras un poquito. Es como un tipo de word blend. Is he new to ah. our class? 
Oh, okay. Is he new to our class? Is he to our class? No, new. Is, Is he, he new, new to our class? class? Mm -hmm. Is he new to our class? Very good. What time is it? What time is? Oh, what time is it? What time is it? Mm -hmm. Where are you from? Are you, are you from? hungry? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Mm -hmm. Did you finish your homework? Uh huh. What is your favorite color? Very good, nice job. Okay, very good. We're going to finish, right? Uh, we don't have any more time, but you can practice the WH questions in present continuous, and you can also practice the falling and rising intonation. Okay? Now, debería de sonar algo así. For example, are you a doctor? La voy a comparar con falling intonation. Number one. Eh, rising intonation. Are you a doctor? What is your name? Are you a doctor? What is your name? Podemos usar el método de la la. For example, La, 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 are you a doctor? What is your name? La, 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 okay? You have to use falling and rising intonation, right? Uh, something about English that's uh, very different from Spanish. La música de inglés, la intonación, el ritmo, eh, la pronunciación, eh, el acento, todo eso afecta para que el lenguaje de inglés, el, perdón, el idioma de inglés sea más musical. El español es más plano, more flat, monotone. But English is more up and down. You have more music in English. Okay? So, es algo que recordarlo porque le, le va a ayudar mucho en el, en el futuro. Okay? Study in English more. Okay, questions? So you can finish section five. Algunos ya terminaron section five, okay? Um, so, yo les dije en el grupo, si ustedes tienen alguna pregunta, quieren obtener más material sobre algún tema, por ejemplo, teacher, quiero hacer más prácticas del present continuous, eh, quiero hacer más prácticas de los números, quiero hacer más prácticas del possessive adjectives, simplemente díganme el tema y yo les busco algún worksheet extra que pueden hacer. Pero lo primero es terminar la plataforma. Ajá, José, question. Teacher, yo tengo una pregunta. Y es uh -huh. que en la, en la lección 5, bueno, en el final exam, este, en 5.13, el sonido para mí es manejando o driving, uh -huh. pero no me lo acepta, me lo pone como mala. Yo no sé por qué, si es que yo no lo estoy haciendo bien o no lo escucho bien. Ok. Eh, solo eh, escribime, escribime, José, poniéndome section, eh, final exam, section A, B, C, D, número 3, 4. I, I just tell me and I'll, and I'll send it to you, okay? Okay. All right, questions? Okay. ¿Alguien más tiene preguntas? Okay. If you have any questions about the exam, lo pueden hacer las veces que quieran. Traten de llegar a un 80 o más en el examen final. Okay, if you have any questions, please tell me. All right, I'll see you tomorrow then, okay? Okay. See you okay. tomorrow. All right, have a good, All right. Night. good night. Good night.